G'day fellas and welcome to a casted game. Spawning in on the north side of the map playing as the French, we've got Marine Lord on the opposite side of the map also playing as the French in the color red. We have got Lucifron. That is correct. We've got a French mirror matchup. It is one of the first mirrors that we've seen in quite some time, obviously just coming off that Rus mirror, but uh, it, it is rare that you see a mirror these days. At least it feels that way in the competitive scene. So I'm looking forward to seeing what we've got today because when it comes to mirror matches, the French mirror is definitely a little bit more exciting than the standard mirror. It's going to be careful. He's missing a sheep, missing a sheep, missing a sheep. Lucifron, don't do me like this. Misses multiple sheep. Oh, my Lord. Look at these sheep out here he's missing. Uh, but um, this is Golden League. This is EGC TV's Golden League. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find out more about it. 15 GMT, Saturday and Sunday. That's where you can catch it live over on Twitch TV. If you're interested in checking that out, I encourage you to do it. It's a lot of fun. We are in the finals at this point in time. And it means that at this stage in the game, uh, that there are not many weeks left. In fact, all the weeks of May. So if this, if you're watching this video and it's May and it's Saturday and Sunday and it's close to 15 GMT, then I encourage you, I encourage you, go check out EGC TV uh, and and uh, and watch it. But let's talk a little bit about this matchup. This is a matchup that is developing uh, quite a lot. It, it definitely feels like in the meta at the moment. Uh, this this matchup is still a little bit up in the air. So we used to see in this matchup the the most common thing that you would see is players go for a very, very heavy knight orientated focus in the early stages of the game. Uh, Lucifron was one of the players that actually, in the, the last time I saw him play French, at least in, in, in this in the mirror matchup, uh, he went for a second town center. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if we do see a second town center coming out today. Uh, but I, I, if I remember correctly, he also went for a barracks uh, and, and tried to play a little bit more defensively. So I wouldn't be surprised if we actually do see that. Actually, Lucifer's the other guy, isn't he? Lucifer's this guy uh, down here. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if we start to see a second town center coming out for him. And then I guess Marine Lord, he's going to be in a position where if he knows that, he's probably going to think, well, you know, I, I don't... You, you're basically playing with fire. Let's just put it that way like you if you don't go for a second town center and your enemy's got one you need to make it work if if you don't that is it like it is just it, you will lose the game at say 16 minutes or 17 minutes no matter what um, because you just don't have the economy that your enemy has got uh, so it, it, you, you very much have to you, you're on a timer and you don't want to be so I'm curious to see exactly what we're going to have unfold here. Uh, another adaptation that people can always look to make as the French is professional scouts. As you guys know, the French do get upgrades a little bit cheaper than other civilizations. You can see it there. I think it's about 30% uh, cheaper than, uh, than the standard civilizations get. So they can make effective use of professional scouts just because their professional scouts are cheaper. Uh, will we see professional scouts today? Uh, I would suspect if there's double town centers coming out for both players, we're probably not going to see professional scouts coming out uh, for them. We'll take a look at the spawns and see how they've gone. Uh, so up towards the north, Marine Lord's got a pretty decent spawn back here. Great spot for a town center on top of this. It's going to be securing up, you know, effective control up towards the north side. He might need to put an outpost or something out here to provide that line of sight. But he's got a lot of resources back here that are going to be in a great spot for him. Um, over on the other side for uh, Lucifron, his second hunt is quite far away from his uh, main town center. And it feels very disconnected. It feels very dis disconnected. But even coming down over here onto this position, it feels somewhat disconnected. So... Unfortunate spawn for Lucifron. Might look to go maybe down here with the second town center. The other option is always up on the gold mine as well. You can see you, normally you probably want to put it like right there. So maybe maybe on that position uh, could work for him as well. Um, because realistically, even though you'd, you'd love to, to have it on the hunt, it just feels very, very far away and highly likely that you would get targeted out here if you went for this and this one i mean this one's out of the question at this point marine lord he is his spawn is a lot better with regard to that second town center placement it's just one of those little things that you can't really control can you um you know sometimes sometimes you get them and sometimes you get got but uh marine lord now gonna be looking to chase away these early scouts coming out both players obviously opening up double scouts at this point in time a lot of wolves out on this map as well we've seen wolves moving around this map like madmen uh, but uh, now both players looking to age up we've got that school of cavalry coming through early wheelbarrow gonna be coming through former ring lord four minutes 20 we'll check in over with lucifron and see how he's going his his mill is only getting up now so a bit of a late mill here and a lot of gold in the bank it gets gets the wheelbarrow now so lucifron only getting his wheelbarrow in now where marine lord uh, i mean marine lord's maybe like 30 seconds faster than him so not a huge difference between these two 
But age two has now been reached, and we immediately begin to see uh, what he is going to be going for. He's got three villagers on gold at the moment, so definitely not sim signaling anything too serious with regard to investing uh, heavily into, into gold production. You know, unlikely to go into those upgrades or anything like that yet. We do see an early barracks getting dropped down for Marine Lord. This is definitely something new, uh, and already... You, you, I see this early barracks and straight away I'm like, okay, that's that's the second town center coming up for him for sure. There's no two ways about it. Uh, you don't drop an early barracks like that. And that was almost blind as well. Like, uh, uh, he didn't spot out any... Um, I mean, he only spots out the knights from his enemy and he can make knights himself. But the, the key here is that the, the barracks is going to enable him to protect the villagers. That's going to be the real key difference here. Uh, but second knight now going to be coming out. Both players heading out in the middle of the map. We'll tune in with Lucifront and see as he begins to take stone. So Lucifront going to be heading in that direction as well uh, and uh, I suspect that Marine Lord probably going to be looking to take stone very very shortly we can actually see he's not really gathering up he's quite heavy on wood though so I might move some wood villages over onto the stone it's something that's quite common uh, and then once we get to the mid game I think that's where uh, uh, up until this point like it, it seems very very simple the way that this game plays out uh, you know, knight aggression. You're going to get um, go going to get shut down completely by any kind of spearman pressure out here. Uh, there, there is a villager out there, uh, and we do see the mining camp. It, th this villager is very exposed, though. That's the problem. It's all by itself, so it's not going to get the same attention that like a wood line would get. So you're probably going to be rallying your spears over towards the the, the wood line. This villager, it, it <laughs> she's already dead. She's already dead. But now Lucifront up towards this side. We can actually see he's coming up towards here. He's going for a bit of a raid. <laughs> the wolf looking like he was going to get in on the action. Poor villager. Going to be... <laughs> I can't help but feel like... Uh a little bit like Drongo Damas at this point as the villager goes down and, and I guess that's just the consequence of, of going for that mill and leaving your villager out there but now we see that uh, he's, he's got a pretty good control over this game at the moment Lucifron uh, he's also looking to take out that stack that stone very quickly the question is do we see a second uh, additional town center being dropped down so technically a third town center for either of these guys I would suspect probably not at least not in the early stages you might see it around like the 15 minute mark something like then or something like that but it's even then it's probably pretty unlikely I think two towns us with French, you're pretty safe on, just because you do train those villagers a little bit faster than any other Civ, so you're going to be out scaling, and just the difference between two and three town centers isn't really going to be noticeable, um, but uh, we do indeed see Marine Lord going to be adding in those uh, those stone miners, so he's going to be thinking about going for his second town center as well. Chivalry gets completed from Lucifron. I'm liking Lucifron's position. He's already got the one kill over on the enemy side, taking out the villager. We can see now heavily going to be dropping down the town center on the gold. I was going to say, so he's heavily moving over to gold, but he, instead just dropping the town center there. We'll check in with Marine Lord and see where he's going for that second town center. It's going to be on the hunt, which is definitely the correct choice. This is a great little spot up here. Provides such great coverage to all these resources in the back. Very easy to connect the line of sight. And now we can see a couple of uh, a knight actually running in here. Got to be careful. You can see he's actually doing a great job. Marine Lord is of cutting off that knight. Great reaction timing there. But already with the six spears out. So he's got plenty of spears out already. And uh, you just got to be very impressed with his playstyle here. It's just looking very safe, very methodical. Um, and his defenses look great. Uh, so from here... Heading into the mid game, it's highly likely that we're probably going to be seeing very heavy Arbolatria compositions. Uh, both, obviously, we've got a mirror matchup here, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if we honestly even looked to see like 100% Arbolatria coming out from both of these players. I really wouldn't be surprised. And more knights now beginning to move around for Lucifron. He is always just paying attention over to, the, to that side. Pretty tight little base here from Lucifron. Not yet out onto the deer, I was about to say, but he is indeed on the deer uh, already. Uh, so I, I, I thought the deer were like right here, but nope, they are a little bit further. Idle villagers underneath the town center spearman moving out as well marine lord looking to turn on the pressure nice and early in this game village is going to be jumping inside knight going to be careful knight might actually go down it's got 28 health on it looks like that that last shot won't actually hit but up towards the the other side looks like marine lord going to be under pressure you can see he's lost all, all the spearmen are out at the moment they're they're, they're on other duties uh, but uh it looks like no villages do actually go down textile's not yet through villagers jumping immediately inside the town center they're gonna be they're gonna be a-okay okay, though but now two tcs for both players no one looking really to gather stone at this point in time as well uh so we take a look over at lucifron he is not gathering stone marine lord not gathering stone either so no signals for a third town center just yet which you would expect but now the spearman mass is starting to build and this is where it could head into a bit more of a heavy age two game and we can see a stable is getting added in here as well for marine lord he's going to be looking to apply pressure on his opponent lucifron down here to the south who has now got a blacksmith in um yet to get any of the upgrades through obviously gets his 
plus one melee for free. Um, but uh, interestingly, no archery ranges. Um, and is that actually adding in a second stable? Uh, so this could be this could be bad right here for Lucifron. Uh, Marine Lord with the push, he's already got a very decent mass of spearmen. Uh, but now another raid up towards the north. You can see the knights making it away uh, through the fog of war, just barely. Uh, but second stable, barracks. Um, but yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see like a 1-1-1 come out for a very heavy feudal age here. Uh, it does make a lot of sense. And honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised if we did see a Royal Institute. If, if we do have longer feudal ages, I wouldn't be surprised to see, uh, you know, 15 to 20 knights into Royal Institute into a timing push with Royal Bloodlines. Uh, that thing is absolutely insane. It, the, 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 I've like, I think I've lost to French once, and the only time I lost to it was when they did that, just because I underestimated the power of their units. Uh, but we do see, spot that archery range coming down as well. Marine Lord sees it. So he's going to know exactly what his enemy is up to. And coming down towards the hunt on the south side, the, the spearmen are going to spot it, and you can see them getting their spears out. They're going to be able to make it towards the tower village. You've got to be careful as it runs past and indeed loses its life to those spears so marine lord evening up the village account right now in fact let's take a little look at that let's have a look 47 versus 50 so lucifer is slightly ahead of his opponent more raids coming in up towards the north it looks like any unit gonna go down royal knight might go down here scout goes down actually uh royal knight goes down as well so that town center got some range on it but now it looks like the uh, the spearmen gonna have to fall back from this position they know that it wasn't a viable option narch is also gonna be making their way out as the farm transition begins for lucifron we've got attacks from all corners of the map here this knight trying to make it away you can see the scout gonna be chasing it down it's got 11 health left on it but uh the scout gonna have to work a lot of magic to get through that uh, that heavy armor but uh, now up towards the north. We'll take a look at Marine Lord and see how he's doing. What are, what are our upgrade situations? Let's take a look. Uh, for the mill, we've got the wheelbarrow, no, fertilizer, no horticulture, no double broad axe, no specialized pick, no specialized pick just yet. We do have the blacksmith down for him. Uh, no upgrades at all just at this point. Only got the plus one and playing as the French, he gets that one for free. And immediately upon, re uh, upon reaching that next stage, he'll get his decarbonization as well as he'll get the tier three as well. Royal Knight going to be able to survive up on that that uh, western flank as well, but more units coming out for Lucifron. Lucifron looking good, looking healthy, looking happy, and uh, now looking to take berries out over on his eastern flank as well. Very, very ballsy for Lucifron taking these berries in a French mirror with no textiles and no outpost. Okay, there's the outpost coming down there. Just going to be the one villager tapping away at it, and we see walls beginning to come up now for Marine Lord. So looking to try and extend out the game a little bit more, control the narrative, make it a little bit longer. Uh, makes a lot of sense, and he's actually got the villager on the other side. Very, very cheeky from Marine Lord. I like that play. Uh, and now a couple spearmen going to be coming in here as well. Looking to try and seal the deal, and Lucifron definitely going to be losing a lot of units here if he's not careful. He manages to make his way outside and at the same time raiding over towards the other side. Marine Lord once again losing another villager on the berries he's been losing them all day and somehow some way these royal knights managed to make their way out of the base of marine lord and back down towards the safety of his home base but now that farm transition is really starting to kick in for lucifer front looks like he's adding in the seventh farm six farms we're seeing uh, coming through for him so he's definitely looking to, to do that we'll take a look at his upgrades he's getting double broad axe through uh, so that is going to be uh one of his and can I just comment? Great improvement. Lucifron and Vortex, both guys, uh, very rarely would they replace their um, Lumma Camps. But here we actually see him three deep already, and they, they are right next to each other. So very well played for him. Knight numbers looking very, very healthy now for Lucifron. He's going to be able to hold this position, but hold on a minute. There's a lot of spearmen behind that, and now the archers are going to have to force the way out. You can see these guys have got their plus one ranged attack, but over on the other side, plus one ranged defense has come through for Marine Lord. So he's going to be holding on, trying to fight his way out of this, and now villagers are going to have to fall back towards that outpost. They do manage to survive another day. And up towards the north side, Marine Lord continues walling up the remainder of his base. Uh, this is a great little spot for, for Marine Lord, and we start to see the AoE 2 ification of Age of Empires 4. You know, more town centers, more walls, that good stuff. Soon we'll be seeing keep creep with trebuchets. Wait a minute. We already do. Uh, five vills now moving out towards this. Now, the reason why we move five vills out over onto this patch and not anymore, don't move six, don't move seven, is because five vills fit perfectly in the outpost. Uh, and so you don't want anybody to be left out when the raids do eventually and inevitably come. And speaking of raids, Lucifron now looking to put some pressure down over on that gold mine. Going to be forced back here, though. There are a lot of units coming out for his opponent, Marine Lord. Once again, going to look to try and chase these away. And I got to say, Lucifron looking... Looking good, though, at this point in time. The, the fact he's got map control now getting the upgrades behind this. Oh, my Lord, Lucifron. This is a new Lucifron we're seeing right here. Still yet to get specialized pick, but is getting through horticulture. So I got to say, I like it. I like the play. 
Now, continuing to fall back, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a barracks added in for Lucifron shortly. Ideally, you want to get to that 1-1-1 one, one, one combination. By, by, and by dropping the barracks, you then force your enemy to make archers. And so it, it sort of goes in this whole loop, and then it basically just comes down to skill. Uh, but now... Those knights going to have to fall back as the archers look to try and put on some damage. More villagers, or rather more spearmen coming up. And another raid back towards the other side of the map. We can see villagers did go down. Lucifron doing a great job. And now knights looking. They've got to be careful. They're going to run a screen here for these archers. You can see the archer's going to find a nice little choke point right here. Spearmen trying to make their way through. He needs to focus them down. And you can see that's exactly what he's doing. Looking to try and take them out. You're going to have pixel perfect clicks here uh, because those units do like to overlap and now those knights coming back in doing a great job just continuing to run the screen this is exactly what Lucifron wants well, he wants rather not wants this is exactly what he wants he's playing it perfectly I gotta say I'm very impressed with his French he's going up against the best French player in the world the best French player in the world Marine Lord he's also very good at the French civilization um, that, <laughs> that was a joke guys that was a joke that was actually a pretty good joke uh, good, good, good joke, Drunko. Good joke. Thanks, guys. Now beginning to continue walling up. Look at this. Look at these walls up towards the north. Very, very. Um, not, normally you see people wall woodline to woodline. It's very, very common that people do that. Uh, but here he's just like, I'm gonna make a square, and then he makes it. So well done, well done to him. Marine Lord, uh, going up to the Third Age, it looks like the Guild Hall is going to be the, the name of the game here. Uh, so at this stage, it makes sense for him to be going the Guild Hall. It doesn't have a particularly big mass of knights, only a, a, about 10 double digits, barely breaking it. Uh, so Guild Hall definitely makes sense here. And you, look, to be honest, at this point in the game, you don't want to be left out. Uh, if you don't go for the Guild Hall, if you go for the uh, the Royal Institute, you're probably going to be left behind. Uh, but that's on the... That, I mean, it, it depends. It's, it's variable. <gasps> is that... a it's a Royal Institute! It's happening! It's happening! It's happening! It's happening! It's happening! Ladies and gentlemen, it's happening! We are getting the Royal Institute. We are getting different landmarks for for professional players at the top level. That is right. You are having differences in opinion, differences in decisions, and I freaking love it. This is going to be amazing stuff. I'm really looking forward to it, but now Village is going down. Once again, another raid up towards the north side. I looked at that, and I'm like, hold on a minute. That doesn't look like a guild hall. Age up comes through now for Lucifron. Both players in hitting the castle age within the same second of each other. That is how you know these guys are on the same level. This is impressive stuff, but now those night numbers really looking healthy for Lucifron. He's going to be careful not to overextend with regard to those archers, but those archers look like they're just going to be helping out. Give it a little bit of crossfire, but we do indeed see ro veteran royal knights coming through. That raid gets shut down towards the north, and now our music steps up a little bit more because now we're getting serious, boys. Now we are getting serious. We have got a royal institute coming out, and I don't think Marine Lord is aware of this. He, do he does actually... He has, he has the scout. He has the scout. So if, if I see the Royal Institute, what is my reaction? My immediate reaction is Arbolatrier. We need to make a lot of them and we need to make spearmen because there's probably going to be a knight, a giant ball of knights coming to me. That, that, that would be my thinking. Now, obviously, there's a lot of upgrades in there as well. And for those unfamiliar with the Royal Institute, I'll, I'll, I'll run you guys through it just to give you a bit of a, an explainer because it's, it's rare that we see this landmark. So this landmark enables a French player to access all of their unique techs, irrespective of the age. And so that means that even your Imperial unique techs, you can get them in the Castle Age. As an example, this technology down here, Royal Bloodlines, is unique to the French and subsequently available in the Royal Institute in the Third Age and also at a discounted price. That is correct. It is 20% cheaper, but that's not all. They've also got access to crossbow stirrups, which reduces the reload time for Arbolatria. So it means that they're doing more damage. Think about that. If they're firing 25% or their reload time is 25% shorter, shorter then all of a sudden they're doing a lot more damage uh through through that and so it means that you know there, there's a lot of potential to be had here uh but at the, by the same token it i feel like marine lord is now putting lucifron on a little bit of a timer because it basically means he's got access to the guild hall where his opponent doesn't and that is a great form of resource gathering uh that, that is going to be available to him but now we continue to see uh Ablutria as well as royal knight's going to be coming out for both of these players i suspect we'll check in with marine lord it is indeed going to be that combination that they're going for. We see the Monastery going to be making its way out as well. Have we got a Monastery coming out for Lucifron? Indeed we do. It is coming down right on top of the Relic that is in his base. Three Relics out in the middle, yet to be picked up. The Relic back here as well, going to be a potential target. But uh, it sounds like a little bit of a raid back home. Indeed, there's a bit of a raid back home here, but Lucifron going to be cleaning this up. But i got to say, I'm looking forward to this. Ladies and gentlemen, I am excited to see. The Royal Institute is out. It is about. It is proud. It is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I, I hate this bug. So for anybody wondering, how does this bug happen? If you make a wall, okay, and you want to put a gate on it. So look, 
Wait, what? How did that work? I, I, I'm confused. Normally what happens is th that is a hole in the wall. You have to delete the gate. Uh, I, I don't know how he managed to do that. Okay, weird. Absolutely, <laughs> very weird. We we'll, we'll ignore it for now and we'll continue on with our life. But we also see crossbow stirrups coming through, or, or rather Gambison's coming through, uh, and of course coming through from the Royal Institute. Uh, and we see Royal Bloodline's going to be coming through. Now, ideally, he'd want to wait for these upgrades. You can see he's getting plenty of upgrades through as well. Uh, but ideally, look to get the, the upgrades as well for his armor, for his melee armor, all that good stuff. Uh, and then try and look to attack Marine Lord. But uh, I guess you've got to be careful because uh, the one thing I'm thinking about is what if Marine Lord looked for a car a, uh, an Imperial He's out here guarding up the relics as well. Uh, so first relic is in. It is in his uh, in his base. Uh, but uh, first relic yet to be coming in from the monastery. You can see it making its way back now. Second relic looking to get picked up over on this eastern flank. Uh, and we can reveal that it is there. But look how they're guarding their relics. We've got one knight over here. One knight over here. And hello. Hello. What are you doing, mate? Not going to work. Not going to work. Not going to work. Not gonna work, mate. Try, good try, though. Good try. And now Knight's in the center. We see a keep actually gonna be coming down here for Marine Lord. Looking to try and extend out the game a little bit more. We've got Horticulture also. Another upgrade coming for, through for him as well. Or rather, Fertilization. And, and now on the backside, the Knight's fighting against the Knight's Arbolatria on the backside. He's gonna be trying to hold on in this position. A lot of Arbolatria out for him. Actually, I'm liking the forces here. I don't know why he's fallen back. These are, this is looking really, really good right now uh, for, for Lucifron. He, this is a great little spot he's got. And now gonna be able to continue just holding on for his dear life here, uh, but pushing through at this point, Marine Lord's going to be trying to, but uh, Arbolatria going to have to fall back. It's a very strong position here, uh, and now it looks like the night numbers are really looking very healthy for Lucifron, and both players going to be parting their ways as the, the game continues. Keep going to be going down here now as well for Lucifron, so both players thinking about the same thing in the middle of the map, an outpost was going to be going up, not going to be the case, and now we got ourselves a little bit of a mirror matchup right here. As over on the west side, it is happening, ladies and gentlemen. The monk is going to be meeting the knight. And unfortunately, I think that he's going to be suffering a similar fate to the monk that was met on the other side of the map. Knight coming in. Wallalols immediately. Third hit. Fourth hit. Fourth hit. He gets it. He knocks him out. And now we've got a counter-attack coming back towards the other side. Impressive timing there from Lucifron, but unfortunately does still lose that. Now on the backside, look at the Arbola Trio. Look how strong they are. Look how beautiful they are. The Pavise Shield, I hear it going down. Do I hear the Pavise Shield going down? I thought I heard something go down. Might have been all those Knights and M Marine Lord looking like he might be in a little bit of trouble here. But by the same token, Lucifron continuing to pop out pop out units. We hear Crossbow Stirrups is coming through right now. It's going to be an, an Imperial Age unit or Imperial Age upgrade that he has access to. And now the Pavis Shield coming out, giving plus seven ranged armor. In fact, make it only plus five. But uh, now we can see Lucifron doing very, very well here. Uh, and uh, I, I think in this matchup, it might actually just make sense not to get Royal Bloodlines uh, in, the, in the Third Age. It doesn't really, like when you think about it, okay, your enemy is going to be very heavy on Arbolatria. You just go crossbow stirrups, go full upgrades, and you just make Arbolatria. And like, what can they do? You're firing faster. You're doing more damage. You're dishing it out nonstop. Village accounts right now, 123 for Lucifron, 127 for Marine Lord. So these guys both sitting with their late game economies. 23 minutes into this game. We've got keeps. We've got trebuchets. We have got foundations of the future being placed down right now because these guys mean absolute business. And look at the units that are coming out here as well. Looks like Marine Lord also bringing a couple of villagers out. Looking to do a bit of repairing. Got their daggers out, ready to fight. Look at them go. And now the, the knight's just going to get cleaned up so easily. It doesn't matter how many knights you've got. They're just always going to get one shot by these Arbolatria. Just the, the extra damage that they've got. 22 damage a pop here. Uh, against the against the 230 health, you can see just 11 or 12 knights. Uh, 11 or 12 Arbolatria are going to be more than enough to one shot those knights. Trebuchet continuing to fire down. He's got two of them out now, so going to have to pull more villagers. You can see he's got a bit of a villager bug right here. I hate this bug. I don't know why this happens. This is frustrating as all hell. Yeah, it looks funny, but uh, there, there's literally like two or three villagers there that aren't repairing that should be repairing. And it, it, it's, it's like, I'm not saying it's game breaking, but if he doesn't realize that, and he should realize it, like you, you can very easily see it. I mean, when you're playing at 300 APM though, you probably can't see it. You're like, why did my keep go down? I assigned the correct number of villagers to repair this. Why did it go down? Well, it, it went down because of a bug. That, that is the honest truth. 
And now going to be going down. You can see finally those villagers going to get pulled. He's still still flexing, still bugging out, still wigging out over on that backside. And now Arbolatrea continuing to push down. Going to be able to break through this Palisade gate once and for all. It does look like it's going down. And at the same time, the keep going down on that backside. Going to be losing all of that influence that it was providing. Marine Lord going to be a very unhappy individual now. As, uh, as Lucifer is looking very, very good in this game. I got to be honest with you guys. This is a great game so far, the way these two guys are playing it. Now, Lucifer. <laughs> oh, geez. These what did the relic count finally end up at? I I'm suspecting 3 2 in favor of Marine Lord. Let's take a look. Marine Lord. There he is. Three for Marine Lord. And over here, one for Lucifer. But it will be very shortly. Could be two. Actually, it could be four. It could be four over to his opponent. Another keep going to be going down. Marine Lord trying to get it out. You can see he's got a lot of villagers in here, and that keep is definitely going to be getting up. And now Horseman actually going to be coming out for Marine Lord. So that is going to be the switch. That is the thing he's going to be using to look to counter the Arbolatrie. But remember, these Arbolatrie absolutely fuck, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding, man. These units are insane. Because think about the Horseman, right? The Horseman comes out. He's like, yeah, I got 13 damage. Well, hold on a minute. I've got seven melee armor. And that's out of the gates. I don't even have to drop my Pavis shield for that. Pavis shield gives ranged armor, by the way. Uh, so, like, th these guys, I mean, in, in smaller numbers, they're going to get shredded. In larger numbers, I don't know what the difference would be, but Knight's now running through as well. Uh, going to be looking to try and clean. And we've got villagers over all my... Have, have we got ourselves a little bit of tandem mining? Going to happen? I can smell it. That's... Keep going to be going down in place, though. Not going to be happening today. So looking to gain control of the map, looking to try and take away uh, th these large gold veins away from his opponent. Look at the villagers. Oh, this is not good for Marine Lord right now. This is not good for Marine Lord. This is the best French player in the world playing as the French going up against his French opponent, uh, which is Lucifer, uh, who is playing the French. He's not French. He's Spanish. Um, <laughs> but uh, now we can see that uh, Marine Lord actually just going to be investing in the keep, uh, or rather going to be investing in stone. Unfortunate timing there for that villager. Uh, but now, finally, that relic is going to get picked up. We hear the sacred sites being contested, uh, being uh, being converted over on the other side. Neutralized. Double trebuchet coming out for Marine Lord. Triple trebuchet out for Lucifer at the moment. So you can see it's slowly but steadily taking out his uh, his military production buildings. There was a lot of units or a lot of production that was up here on the front side. We can still see he's still training units out nonstop. Plenty of villagers out here on the front side. Always going to be able to repair up this keep in where, if, if need be. And you can see he's just got four villagers. That, that's the correct play right here. That's how you maximize the efficiency. Uh, ideally, you want to start healing uh, with as little units as possible or villagers as possible as soon as possible. That's that's the most efficient way to do it. But now, horsemen moving forward is, together with Arbolatria. These guys have got their crossbow stirrups coming in. Could this be the crossbow stirrup meta? Are we finally seeing it happen in real time? Keep in mind, we've still got the the guild hall to think about as well. I'm kind of tempted to go look at it right now. We'll have to remember to do it later as the Pavis shields are coming out. Ladies and gentlemen, the crossbow stirrups are looking to come out right now for Lucifer. We can, oh my God, my camera just keeps doing annoying things. But now look, look how fast he's firing here. He's really moving out quite quick with these with these Arbolatria. He's just firing off a little bit faster all the time. Uh, he's got 1.69 attack speed compared to 2.0. So just a very slight decrease. It's not huge. It's not 1.5 like you would expect a 25% reduction to be. It's 1.69. Uh, but it's still a buff. It's still a buff. Uh, but now continuing to kite back, the Arbolatria mass is really getting quite strong here. No mangonels to break the difference, at least not at this point. Marine Lord just pumping out units nonstop. He's got 24 villagers in the queue. He's up to 149 villagers. Get your bells out. 139 out for Lucifer right now. These guys are grinding each other down nonstop. And we can see this keep might be going down as well. He's got plenty of wood in the bank, so he's going to have no problems with insufficiencies over that side. But the trebuchet is just doing work slowly and steadily. But uh, now Marine Lord looking to try and drop a keep down over on his side. It looks like he might get caught with his pants down as those villagers try their best. The trebuchets could be re retargeted over towards his keep as well. Arbolatria, they're looking to try and take out the villagers and you can hear the Pavis shields going off. Look at Marine Lord's beautiful Arbolatria. The crossbow stirrups just doing so much work though for Lucifer and now... Look, I, I, I'm just, I'm in love with this unit, man. This is such a beautiful unit. Now going to be falling back away from this position. He's trying his best to hold on, but uh, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to do it. Let's check the guild hall. we got to check that guild hall. Can I get a ding, ding, dong, dong? Where's that guild hall? There it is in the back. 1500 gold ready to go is that the, that's the price you pay for taking crossbow strips in age three and you can see the lucifer is slowly weaseling his way into a potential victory position uh, but marine lord's economy is huge behind this keep that in mind marine lord's economy is big very big behind this and more arbitrary coming out now for both of these players you can see that he's got the the melee upgrade no melee upgrade coming through here pavis shield still yet to really come through uh for lucifer and we haven't really seen him use it too much here 
Uh, but now, now he's got to be careful not to lose these trebuchets. Expensive units that are going to go down very quickly to the horsemen. And indeed, they do go down. You can see the keeps, multiple keeps down here trying their best uh, to kill these. But unfortunately, they do go down. Villagers going to get called a little bit too late to try and repair. And now more and more units pumping out nonstop for Lucifer on this. This game is insane. I'm enjoying the heck out of this game. This is nonstop action between these two guys. This is what a French mirror is all about, baby. This is this is your two town center play. This is not your 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 virgin one town center play. This is your Giga Chad two town center play. This is what we're talking about. This is the beautiful late game stuff that you love to see. The unique unit really getting a beautiful show out. And now a siege workshop getting dropped down on the front side here as well. Trebuchet just getting multiple targets. It gets to choose what it wants to take down. Are we going to be seeing an Imperial Age coming through soon from these guys? Let's check the upgrades. What have we got? We've got plus two. Mining is coming through. He's getting specialized pick now. Have we got double broad axe? We'll take a look. Double broad axe is through. Lumber preservation, not yet. Uh, but we've got pushes coming through on opposite sides now. You can see that Marine Lord's definitely walled himself in quite well. Uh, and he's focused primarily on this front. But he is looking to try and put pressure up onto this north side. 4,000 wood stacked up for him at the moment behind this. Also going to be looking to get in his boiling oil. He's going to be trying his best uh, to continue holding on in the central position. Trebuchet, only one of them at the moment. Just going to be working its way through. And now he's going to be careful. He's losing villagers here. He's up 135, so he's got plenty of villagers to lose. I, I suspect he may have even deleted some. He's got that many. Uh, he, he was up to what? 150? 149? So definitely a lot of villagers. Uh, but now we can see uh, there is a, there's quite a bit of Arbolatria beginning to build up here uh, for our, our, our French player. They're both French, Drongo. They're both French attacks behind this. This is, this, is, this is what starts to get annoying, right? The, 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 the attack sound. But now Marine Lord looking to continue pushing forward. He's being attacked up towards the north as well. We can see a bit of a raid coming through. Not going to be going for a rewall. Instead going to be going for a repair. A dangerous a dangerous prospect but back in the center of the of the map. We've got more people fighting it out. More units trying to fight it out. This Arbolatria Masses never really seems to get any smaller. It always seems to stick around this number. I'm looking forward to an Imperial Age. I think an Imperial Age is really what, what is going to be able to break the stalemate between these two guys. But Marine Lord, he's looking for an Imperial Age, but he's got so many, so many villages on wood right now. He, he just needs to focus all of his efforts onto food. But now a raid going to be coming through. Horsemen going to be working their way towards the backside. Have we got, we've, we've got our textiles upgrade. So these guys going to be a little bit more defensive, but Marine Lord, he already had food problems. Now it's just going to be looking even worse. We'll go to income per minute and get a better idea of where these guys are currently sitting at. You can see he tries to make his way back, evacuate towards that town center. But now in the center of the map, he continues to fight it out. These guys just, this is a literal, this is, this is a marathon right now. A bloodbath between these two guys. So so many units are being killed. It's just constant grind. You know, people will often ask me, like, Drongo, how is it that you can go up to 140 villages and, you know, and only have 60 military? Well, this is how. Because you're just trading out units nonstop and the only economy that can support that, that kind of trading is 160 villages. A little bit of a lull in the action is going to mean that there is plenty of time for these guys to... Oh yeah, you love it. You love to see it. You love to see it. All right, back to the back to the dance floor. Back to the dance floor. We have got we got uh, we got some horsemen just getting chased down. These guys have got their royal bloodlines, by the way, so they're a little bit more tanky than the average bear uh, or the average horseman. You can see 155 for this veteran horseman. Compare that over to the 209 of this one. Like you can definitely see the difference between the Chad and the Virgin. Uh, but back towards the base of Marine Lord, he is suffering. 126 villagers for him. He's just taken out his gold loan. He is looking very good. 1300 gold at the moment. Uh, in, or 1600 gold in the bank and now we've got ourselves a keep off it's a good old-fashioned keep off ladies and gentlemen who will be the fastest to make to erect the keep uh as long as there's no insufficient oh my lord the trebuchet is coming in and doing damage i think marine lord wins with regard to the the keep off but at the end of the day I, oh, oh the boiling oil comes out as well the boiling oil did massive damage there and now the keep you can tell the trebuchets are literally right next to it. They are on the front line. And now those villagers are going to get forced away because that, that boiling oil made all the difference, dude. Look how much damage that boiling oil did to these villagers. Really causing a lot of loss there. And now that keep, despite being, what was it, like 50%, 40% of its health when it got up, it's going to be going all the way up to 100% because Marine Lord is really committing here. Keep gets cancelled. Marine Lord's starting to look good as somehow he's turned his way through this game and he's found an opening in the middle of the map. And you can see the horsemen for him going to be trying to loop around it back towards the keeps. There is non-stop action. This game is absolutely ludicrous. I can't believe these guys are doing it. They're still going. These guys are absolute insane. 
I'm gonna need to go, go grab myself something to, to drink or something. I, guys, I'm gonna need to pause. Give me, give me a second here. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But seriously, this is this is some intense stuff. You can see Lucifron. He's on 136 villages. Marine Lord on 116. So actually, village account starting to fall for Marine Lord. He's down 20 vills. So not a hard thing to, for him to get back up to. Uh, but one thing to note is that he is kind of locked out of the gold. This is this big gold here is his only gold that's remaining for him. The other gold down on the on the south side for Lucifron. It's available. He's got multiple gold veins that are back here. So he is going to be A-OK. -okay. So I suspect that the end of the game is probably just going to be when Marine Lord's resources are drained and he's got no more gold uh, to, to actually make Arbor Latria. Because you can see how strong they are in this in this matchup. But now all of the horsemen are going to be coming out here. There's no gates on this, this northern side of the wall. And he's going to have to fall back. He's got a nice little choke point in here, though. So I think he's going to be A-OK. -okay. And now the Pavis shield gets dropped down. He is going to be looking to defend against any kind of ranged attacks. Let's have a beautiful look at that. I love watching it. Look at, look at the ludicrous numbers on that. You see that ludicrous number last night plus seven on both armor that is absolutely ludicrous more raids coming through once again horsemen gonna be trying their best to duck dive dip duck and dive uh and dodge i think that's the other <laughs> i think i missed that one uh but uh yeah now now lucifron in, definitely on the back foot but he manages to stabilize he, he manages to force out all of these these veteran horsemen and put them on on that back side now the question is where does the imperial come through because at this point in time neither player has really blinked neither player has has really uh we, we were gathering gold together and now we're now we're gathering wood together what is this yeah, neither player has really blinked at this point in time. You can see the economies. 80 villages on... on. He has 80 farms. He has 79 farms right now. That is insanity. He has got 79 farms. And th this is what I'm talking about. Like, people... As I said, people say, like, you can't justify having that many villages. No, 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 you can. It's just when you're grinding out units like this nonstop. How much production have we got back here? 23 production buildings for Lucifron. He is just rallying to the center. He is trying his best to hold on. He's got this big gold down to the south, uncontested. He's got... Two more gold veins. He is going to be absolutely A-OK -okay in the late game. Marine Lord might even have to think about trade. He's got the trading post in his base. Uh, so he would be able to set up a market in this corner. It's important. It's imperative that he sets up that trade line before he loses that gold. Because when this gold goes down, he's going to have no gold left. I mean, with the exception of his guild hall, of course, which is on gold and sitting on 1,200 gold at the moment. Uh, but uh, he he's sitting on 4K gold in the bank at the moment. So it's definitely going to be some time before he gets through it all. Uh, but still, it's important to note that uh, the gold is definitely going to be the priority in this late game. Excuse me, excuse me. I, I lost my voice. I, I, I told you guys I needed some, something to drink, but you wouldn't hear it. You wouldn't hear it. Uh, sacred site. Mmm. You hate to see it, don't you? You hate to see it. Barely, barely a centimeter away, a pixel away. Um, but up towards the north, it was captured. Now going to be neutralized. More raids coming in. Marine Lord sitting on 128 villages. So he does make up the difference. 136 still for Lucifer. Indeed, we've got an Imperial Age coming through now. It's not going to be the Red Palace. Indeed, it is going to be the College of Artillery. Where is it going down? It's going down here. College of Artillery. Great spot for it as well. Perfect. Still close to the front. Protected by the natural um, the natural forest that is out here. And Arbor Tree are just looking very, very healthy. You know, I talked about it earlier in this game. I said, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if there is going to be a lot of Arbor Latria Trio this game. Well, uh, you know, I, I love, I hate to say it. I'll be honest. I love to say it. I was right. I was, <laughs> I was right. Look at them just shred through the, the Springles. Th th these guys, these units are insane. These units are absolutely insane. They're so damn strong. And now Imperial Age comes through. What upgrades do we have through for Lucifront straight away? It looks like it's going to be Elite Arbor Latria. I suspect we're also going to have Royal Bombards coming out very shortly. Rather, Royal Cannons are going to be coming out shortly for him as well. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised. Elite Horsemen also coming through. Do we have a University being dropped down as well? Uh, we'll take a look and see if we can try and find it. Actually, F6. We do indeed have a University somewhere. Uh, it is down here towards the south. So with that, he's going to be looking to get all of his upgrades. Uh, incendiary Arrow is going to be another one. Manganel actually coming out all of a sudden. We've got a Manganel. You've got to be careful here, Mr. Manganel. You're going up against units that have got a lot of damage, and they will absolutely slice through you uh, if, if you're not careful. But the big clump of units here, Lucifron, wasn't really paying attention, and then gets caught out. Another keep going to be coming out, and now looking to try and take some wood on this front side. More units up here towards the north, attacking that lumber camp, and trying to hold on that elite Arbor Latria about to come through. Incendiary Arrow is yet to be researched, but I can, I can assure you it is going to be coming through very very soon as we see a second sacred site taken up down towards that west side 
and uh, and players really doing a great job. I got to say, I th th you can tell these guys are so damn evenly matched, and I can't believe we've seen a player with the Guild Hall go up against a player with <laughs> with the Royal Institute, and it's been this good of a game. I never would have, I never would have believed it. I never would have believed it. This is impressive. I hope this is the future right here. Where's that Guild Hall at? He's just taken the gold out. Marine Lord at the moment sitting on. 4,800 gold. Uh, and uh, and over on the other side, Lucifron definitely struggling with regard to his resources. You can see he is definitely struggling. Only moving out over to this next gold vein just recently, but pushing through. You can see the Arbola Trier just trying their best to try and take all these units out. Still no incendiary arrows, but is going for the Royal Cannon behind. That's going to be able to provide him a lot of DPS. Has Marine Lord gone for that Imperial Age? He's going for it as well. Uh, so now looking to age up himself. I don't know exactly where it is. I don't know where that college is. Am I, am I blind? There it is. Oh my god, I don't like that. That is not a good position on that College of Artillery at all. But you know what else is in a good position? These crossbows. These crossbows are not in a good position. Arbolatria, 25 of them. This is going to be a bit of a throw right here as they all go down. You can see, sure, they've got DPS on them, but I tell you what, they've also got a very low health pool. Only 95 as more horsemen look to come in, look to swoop Lucifron. Going to be throwing away a lot of units there, and you can see he doesn't really have the economy behind it uh, to keep up, to, to go with it, but he, he's just, it is impressive how good this guy's macro is. Culverin going to be coming out for Marine Lord in response to the inevitable Royal Bombard that will be coming out very shortly. A Royal Cannon that should be coming out. There it is. It's somewhere in here. I don't know exactly. Where is that Royal Cannon? Oh, there. He's hiding. He's quite literally hiding. And th this is what I was concerned about. It's, uh, th this this College of Artillery is on the front line. This keep goes down. There is nothing protecting it. And sure, you, you get one Culverin out, you're going to be A-OK, -okay, right? Wrong. Because there are a lot of units here. He's going to continue to push up. We don't actually see any uh, villagers here to repair either. So the Culverin could just turn and take out this Royal Cannon. I think it... Uh, does it one-shot? I think it might one-shot. No, it's, it's going to two-shot. But you can see all of, all of the horsemen just committing to it. And this is the only way he can make Royal Culverin. This positioning here might cost Marine Lord the game because he will not have access to the Culverin as long as this is dead. And we can see that final boulder bit going to be coming through. The landmark goes down. And now Marine Lord's starting to look a little bit shakier. All of a sudden, it's starting to look like it might not be his game. And remember, that gold has been exhausted. Marine Lord's going to have to start thinking about other alternatives for gold as that gold mine gets exhausted. And now, down towards the south, we've got one final gold mine that exists out on the map. Marine Lord, he's sitting with 450. 50 gold in the bank and now I'm starting to now I'm starting to wonder how the hell this game is going to close out because Marine Lord's got to start thinking about trade at this point he really it really is his only option the rest of the map has been completely mined out he's taken everything Rebaldequin coming out for Marine Lord no Marine Lord wake up oh they left it they left the Rebaldequin he lives to see another day he lives to see another day go Rebaldequin you can do it I believe I want to believe no Rebaldequin no Rebaldequin no Rebaldequin he goes down. The poor Rebaldequin. I don't know what that Rebaldequin is doing. I think it might have been an accident. Can he make Rebaldequin from here? Yeah, he can. Okay, cool. So we may see more Rebaldequin coming out. But you can definitely see Marine Lord is now really struggling. He's on 129 villages, but the gold income is not there. Compare that over to Lucifron, and he is getting incendiary arrows. So he's going to be looking to finalize the nails in the coffin here for his opponent. And we can see that Marine Lord's really looking to try and fight for this gold. He's bringing all of his units down towards this southern position, trying to contest this elite horseman has come through. All the villagers are going to be trying their best to get this keep up. But you can see they're turning their attention towards it. But at the same time, towards this front, this uh, northern front, uh, we've got the, the push that continues to keep coming. The keep does get down, which means the gold is going to be secured, but a lot of villagers were lost here. Lucifron down to 97 villagers now. All of a sudden, we've got our, uh, ourselves a game on our hands, boys. This is getting absolutely wild. 185 for Marine Lord. Keep in mind, he's got a pretty decent economy behind this, so could look to just continue flooding out elite horsemen. Now, I don't think they've got their royal, instant, their, uh, royal upgrades. Let's have a look and see. Royal Bloodlines. No, he hasn't even finished his... Uh, yeah, hasn't finished the university yet, so doesn't actually have his upgrades yet. The uh, the Royal uh, Bloodlines upgrade is not through, so it means he's going to have a lot less health on these bad boys uh, than his opponents. Uh, but uh, now that Bombard moving forward, or that Cannon rather, moving forward, looking to try and take out some units. He's got to be careful, though. It is very far forward. I suspect it might even be not too long for this world. As, once again, the, the Royal Cannon is permitted to live. Uh, but this keep going to be getting up successfully. All the villagers here are going to be happily gathering away this gold. And you can see he's up to plus. He's, he's got plus one. But now attacks on multiple sides. You can see that the horsemen going to be trying to break through it. Also a wolf getting in on the action. But that push towards the front. Lucifron looking very happy, very healthy. And now continuing to just resupply, reinforce with those Abla Trier. Marine Lord is looking like he might be in trouble here. Where are the wood lines that are left? There's wood lines in the middle. There's wood lines here. There's plenty of wood lines still 
available on this map. So do not worry. When it comes to trash, it is always going to be available to Marine Lord. The question is whether he is going to be able to use it to win. Royal Bloodlines finally coming through for Marine Lord. Going to be taking its time to come through. I tell you what, that, that, I think it's 90 seconds. Yeah, 90 seconds for that upgrade. That is a, that is a, that is a long boy. Uh, but now, second town center going to be going down from Marine Lord. Plenty of Arbolatria out here, but the Horseman number starting to really climb now uh, for Marine Lord. More attacks coming down. We can see he's broken through these walls on the backside as well. And now, pushback. I would suspect he might even look to delete the walls here as he actually goes and takes down the Bombard, or rather the Royal Cannon. He can get a great little surround here, and he doesn't need to have these walls. It's actually preventing him from getting a decent surround. And now, Horseman going to be coming out from his opponent as well, trying to hold it on. You can see the, uh, the difference between these Arbolatria. One of them has got uh, one of them has got incendiary arrows. The other one does not, and that is the difference in damage. It's an extra four damage on top of it. So it is massive at this point in the game. Actually, I think it should only be three damage at this point in the game. So it's probably he's got like a plus two or something uh, behind this. But now that raid down towards the south side. Marine Lord sitting on 127. Lucifron down to 94 villagers. It's not looking pretty for Lucifron. He's got lots of vills in queue though. So he's not too fussed. Uh, under attack from a wolf somewhere. I don't know where the wolf is, but it is doing something. It is being annoying somewhere. Uh, but uh, raid coming through now. Lucifron trying to extend out the game a little bit, but he knows he's in a good spot. And now that that um, the monastery has gone down. That is Marine Lord's last supply of gold. He's gold trickle is going to come down to absolute zero i say that he's got a sacred site so it might be down to about a hundred but i tell you what 400 versus 100 i'd rather the 400 thank you very much and now marine lord really looking like this might be a good game a bombard coming in from behind marine lord's cannon coming in from Mar marine lord what are you doing with your cannon that's an ex marine lord just throws away a thousand resource cannon like it's nothing wow what a chad what an absolute chad what a 2tc chad lamer i love it Guild Hall behind this. He's trying to get the, the gold out. You can see, you just you just know he wished he'd saved it up to 14,000 at this point and then taken, the, taken it out. But now another keep going to get thrown down here. There is... Wouldn't a Bombard, wouldn't a Royal Cannon be so nice right now if you just put your College of Artillery in your base, Marine Lord? Oh, man. Be able to deny this keep. Everything would be absolutely beautiful. Everything would be coming up Millhouse. It would be so good. But still, you're going to try and hold on. Appreciate it. He's going to try his best to hold on. What an absolute marathon of a game. This is the first game in the series between these two guys. This is the best of seven. And if this is the first game, then we got ourselves an absolute series. You guys better be checking it out the whole way through more. Look at these Arbolatrias coming through now. This is fully upgraded Arbolatria. The only difference is, he, I don't think he's got... Um, I'm pretty confident he's missing plus three ranged armor. Yeah, plus, so it doesn't actually have any of the plus three uh, upgrades with the exception of um, the, the one that he got for free. Maybe he just deems them too expensive? Not, not enough of an oomph? Maybe that's it? They are quite expensive. They're like 500 each. You would have thought that he would have got them. I, I, I get them. But I'm, I'm, I'm Plastic League. Bombard now coming out, or Cannon rather, coming out for Marine Lord. Going to be looking to clean up this this keep over on the south or on the west side, but you got to ask why. You know, w there's nothing to really gain over there. Sure, there's like a wood line, but, you know, what, what, what do you got to gain over there? Still continuing to push through. Lucifront doing a great job here. Monastery going to be coming down. No, Lucifront, don't do it to him like that. Don't put it on the front line. You can see just how hard these guys are looking to try and fight over these sources of gold. Both players completely out of gold at this point in the game. And this is what it looks like when you've got two players that are so evenly matched. Falling back towards that keep. You can see Boiling Oil still yet to come through for Lucifront, but he's going to be looking to research and get it through. Trebuchets on the backside. I still... The, these trebuchets never died. These... You know, when I made that joke about Clock Tower trebuchets and the fact that, you know, having extra health on your trebuchet is meaningful meaningless this is what i'm talking about like these trebuchets were made at like 18 minutes and they're still here 46 minutes because they never died because the control was impeccable from lucifron interesting shot there from the trebuchets uh, but now looking to try and take out these relics is going to be picking up the first one a marine lord definitely going to be pushed up against the edge here Pavis shield coming out there it is the double Pavis shield coming out right now both players putting down the Pavis shield i love it i love it it looks so good it's so good they, they all glow in gold when the Pavis shield goes down it's so good and now finally the bombard makes its way well cannon i always call it the bombard the cannon makes its way over and we see that first relic gonna get picked up is he taking it? I think... <laughs> Sit down. You ain't taking my relic, Mr. Monk. Oh, <laughs> uh, 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 Cannon. Uh, feels bad, man. <laughs> feels bad, man. Cannon unfortunately loses his life. 
You, you may na you may not take my you may take my relic, but you may never take my life. Wait, no, you may take my life, but you may never take my relic. That is the correct way to say it. But uh, Arbalatri Mass really looking very healthy here for Lucifer. I'm I, I don't know how Marine Lord is going to be able to to stop this push because one of the landmarks has been taken out already. The second landmark is looking to be to, to be taken out. You can see it being shelled now. The third landmark is on the front side. The fourth landmark a little bit further towards the back. It's got 140 gold in it at the moment, so he's not letting it go up any higher than the than about 200 gold he's taken it out and he's just slowly balancing in between the two uh are we able to check the market rates right now i want to have a look at the market rates here i suspect it's pretty low oh my lord why aren't you guys selling shit yo sell sh sell shit guys what are you guys doing sell some wood sell some food those market rates are way too high you you're still getting 60 gold for a sell of wood 70 gold for food yo what are you guys doing sell that shit get some gold in your get, get some gold in your coffins uh, but, uh, I mean, Marine Lord's just trying to keep his head above water at this point. And, and you can see it's slowly but steadily pushing towards his death as his second landmark is about to go down. That'll be his second town turner as well, which will mean no more villagers coming out for him. Lucifron doing an absolute clinic in this first game between these two pros. And you got to say, like, coming into this game, Marine Lord's obviously the favorite. He's the best French player that there is. Uh, he is also French, which makes him have a natural born bonus. Another, another cannon now coming out. And you can see beautiful control coming out there for Marine Lord coming in ducking in ducking out needs to needs to bring villagers to repair this up just to just to avoid losing it but now beautiful arbitrary mass coming out for him we'll enter into the cinematic mode as he tries to hold on for a defense here you can see that the arbitrary is from his opponent and now, now got their police shields down He's going to continue moving up as the boiling oil comes out. Looks like the bombard or the cannon is going to be successful in taking this out. The Pavis shields get left behind and the keep is cleared. The keep is cleared. I repeat, clear the keep. It has been cleared. Oh my God, that, it has been cleared. And, the, and you can see the cannon almost going down there. It needs to pull those villagers out. It's so important with, with these high cost uh, units just to pull three or four villagers. It's going to be able to help you so much. And now all of a sudden, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. The tables have turned. The tides have turned. Do we finally have the guild hall paying off after all these times? After four 49 minutes, the guild hall finally says, hey man, I'm here and I'm ready to pay you off. And it's finally happening. Is that what we got? Arrow slits coming in? Arrow, arrow slits coming in? He's tower rushing him. He's tower. <laughs> Marine Lord's towering the farms. Marine Lord's towering the farms at 50 minutes. <laughs> oh my God. This game's got everything. This game has got everything. Oh my Lord. What an absolute marathon. What an absolute game, Marine Lord. And this is a smart move. This is a lot of farms right here. Like you think about it, that's 21 farms. That's 1500 wood that he's got to find now. And sure, he's stacking up 1200, but you know, that's a, that's a lot of stuff that he's got to now find a new spot for. Still trying to push in. Remember, there's no keep here anymore because the cannon came out. And when the cannon came out, it took down that keep. And so now it's 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 that difficult position. But I don't think... Do we have incendiary arrows? We still don't have incendiary arrows coming through from Marine Lord. Uh, so he's always going to be at a bit of a damage disadvantage. But now the crossbow is pushing up. There's no keep here to provide that boiling oil. And then we've got the Pavis shields coming down. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pavis shields coming down for Lucifron. He's going to be looking to try and commit on this position. He's just holding still, holding steady. But look at the numbers now out for his opponent, Marine Lord. He's looking very healthy. The Pavis shields come out for him. Look at the numbers between them. Marine Lord's turning this around. Oh my God. I can't, I can't, I just coughed, I muted my mic, there's too much, there's too much action, and now he's pushing, how is he pushing out, he doesn't have the resources, where did he get the resources from, was it the guild hall all along, was it the guild hall all along, is this what you, is this where the guild hall finally pays off, it's the classic 51 minute payoff of the guild hall, like, yep, that's where he's getting his gold from, it's the guild hall, I knew he shouldn't have gone Royal Institute, well, sorry, I didn't think that the game, I didn't think the game was gonna go for 50 minutes when I made a Royal Institute, mate, uh, wow, wow. What an absolute game. I am in disbelief at what we are witnessing right now. Is it, is it possible that Marine Lord, the arguably the best player in the world right now, somehow manages to pull this victory out? Is there some possible way that he manages to do it? And you can see he's now trying to contest these relics back. He's trying to get them back. Has he dropped down another monastery just yet? He does. He's got another monastery. You can see he's making his way forward with a monk. He's got a lot of units in the queue though, so it's going to take some time. Ideally, I would just cancel all those units and I would just get, I would delete like a, a horseman or something like that, delete a villager uh, and, and then just get, get your monk out there just to pick those up because that is gold that you're missing out on. And now Marine Lord just doing a great job continuing to push forward with these outposts. You can see those villagers being so pesky and he's just distracting his enemy, just forcing APM out to other areas of the map. And now look at Lucifron. Oh my God, look at Lucifron's mini map. Oh my Lord. <laughs> I would hate to be Lucifron right now. Immediately one, two, three, four, five, 
Five places you're under attack. I think. One, two, three, four, five. I think. Jeez. That is not pretty. That is not pretty. Well, it definitely seems like Horseman Arbolatrier is the uh, is the king in the late game for the French Mirror. Uh, but Lucifer now sitting on 3,500 wood. Uh, we'll check in with Marine Lord and see how he's doing because he's still yet to get that, that relic picked up. You can see the Monk is still not produced, but he's trying to find a way back out. He's got that single Bombard, and that's going to be the difference here between these two guys. And now pushing forward, you can see those Arbolatrier are going to be coming in. Look at the beautiful... Look at the... Oh, my Lord! Look at the way that they fire! Oh, my God! It looks so good! Oh, my God! Did you guys see that? It was like... Like the rows, like row one, fire, row two, fire, row three, fire. Oh my, it was like a wave, dude. It looked so good. And now Marine Lord, he's got to be careful because now, oh my, is there a landmark snipe coming through? There could be a landmark snipe coming through. Or maybe there's just another raid coming through. I'm not sure exactly, but relics, wallalo. It looks like the wallalo might actually get off here. No, it doesn't look like it's going to come. Oh! Oh, that was pretty close, actually. You can never really tell in that position. And now, at the same time, the Pavis shields for the for both players. Marine Lord looking to repel all of the double trio on the south side. This game is... In, this is insanity! I can't believe this game. There is non-stop action. This is what French mirrors are made of right here. We talked about it. You know, it is, uh, it is unarguably, it is objectively the best mirror that there is. These two guys are just like two boxers who do not know how to block. They do not know how to dodge. They have not witnessed the movie Dodgeball. They just punch. They just punch each other in the face and then the first man to drop to the floor loses that is it that is it that is how they are playing it out a marine lord now getting cleaned up in the middle all of a sudden lucifron's mass looking a little bit more fierce a little bit scarier you can see he's under attack in every single position on the map right now he's got about 11 attack alarms going off 90 villagers in the bank for him compare that to marine lord who's on 108 and all of a sudden it's starting to look scary marine lord looking very good very healthy uh when it comes to, to this but he is holding on for dear life his economy behind this is looking very good he's actually looking in a pretty decent position he now falls back still yet to have that incendiary arrows upgrade compare that over to his opponent and now it looks like he might be coming in for the kill will enter into the cinematic mode as Marine Lord tries to hold on for this defense once again but the horsemen going to be coming in the reinforcements look at the reinforcements just swooping in from all angles trying to come in trying to find a way in relics looking to get picked up behind this as well we see Marine Lord taking away his first relic finally that is the consequence of putting that monastery on the front side never replacing it still doing a great job of kiting here on the back side he's managed to take out the majority of these these cavalry units for his opponent and now Marine Lord's got to be careful because there's a huge mass of cavalry coming out for his opponent still yet to get that incendiary arrows upgrade we hear that there's attacks behind the scene as well. Marine Lord, he's in absolute shambles right now. More reinforcements coming in for him. He's got to be careful not to avoid overstepping. He's sitting on 107 villages at the moment. Still max population. He is going out the wazoo. Where's the guild hall at? Guild hall at 140 gold. He is really just holding on for it. Relic coming out. Relic, Monk, you're going the wrong way. you got to get him the other way. And all of a sudden, he's holding on for dear life. I can't believe this game. Pavis Shield comes down again. Pavis Shield comes down. He is holding. He is holding. Hold! Hold! <laughs> he holds! He actually holds! Marine Lord is somehow holding this game! How is this game even possible? And then behind this, we've just got tower pushes that are happening. M Lucifer! Lucifer is down to 140 units! Oh my god, Lucifer! What happened? What happened to Lucifer? Lucifer's down to 130 pop! He's got no resources in the bank! Marine Lord's gonna do it! Marine Lord says it! Marine Lord wins! What the. G what is this game? What is this game? <laughs> Welcome to game number one in a best of seven between Lucifer and Marine Lord. That's your first game. Well, you better believe what we've got coming up for you in round two because it's probably going to be a six minute game. What an absolute crazy game that was. I can't believe it. <laughs> Fellas, I hope you enjoyed that game. I did. I'll catch you guys in the next one.